you are watching ESC Fan TV. It is the semi-final one review show. I feel it coming. I feel it coming. Look how far we made it. Standing on the edge of a promise. I feel it coming. Been here before and never got it right. We've fallen in love and got me scared of heights. I'm glad I could never speak to destroy the feelings I have. I cannot avoid your twisted tongue. De faire que la fête, t'as plus d'argent. Ah, ah, qui me dit tout pas? Ah, oh, in your heart, love or no, you know, you're a fighter, et j'entends loin, loin, loin. Je peux, je sais pas, je peux te vivre à deux fois, je vais vivre complètement folle, et voilà. I want you to be happy all of your life, my beautiful. Five more songs there, Ian and Donna. Who are your favourites in that set of five? This one's a tough group for me because, I mean, having sat through the whole of Lithuania, I'm kind of like brainwashed by it now. I actually really do like Sylvester Belt's song. It never dulls for me. The amount of times that I've heard it, it's a very simplistic pop song, but it's nice to hear it in Lithuanian. I just really love it. Yeah, that's the one yeah. that jumped out for us when we watched it. The song and the performer... Yeah, it felt yeah. like a complete package mm. as well. You know, the lighting, the staging, all look quite good. They still need to up the choreography game a little bit because it does look a bit like they're just dad dancing at the end. But, you know, uh, I really like that. Ireland as well. The bonkers favourite in this particular group. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's not That performance could be the make or break, though. However they're going to tweak it, it could mean that it sails through or it could be that 10 spot again. Yeah, she's she's danger. I think she's got real danger over cooking it live. If she does, if she goes too hard on it, it could come across as bad student performance art. It's not, but that's what it could appear as. But if she overcooks it, folk will be just like, "The fuck is that?" I want the furry friend to be on stage from the video. It's yeah, so the cute. video is amazing. <laughs> I love the video. The Go video check it out if you haven't seen stunning. it. It's so good. Yeah. Out of the others, to be honest, Luxembourg and Moldova, they're both very good. They're both very strong songs. I think Luxembourg probably will be up against Cyprus in this one. They, they, these are the two that I feel are the most similar that are going to be um, facing off against each other for that spot. Tali's a very good performer. Mm. She can definitely sing. We've seen her live now. That, and she cleverly leaves the choreography to those that can. And I like the little um, fusions that she's got going on, the different cultural fusions mm. and the French in there. And I think given that it's Luxembourg's first try, they all go through regardless. As for Iceland and Moldova, I think Moldova stands the best chance of the two of getting through. It's a very classy performance, actually, mm. and not something that you would necessarily associate with the song though so i don't know how that's yeah. going to carry but it could be memorable on stage if they keep it that way iceland's just a bit generic mm. they need to let her fly with her voice she's got a good voice go for it a bit more it's just i think just they've just played a bit safe and it's a bit samey the original if you do generic in that it doesn't always work no that's where you other people get the points. Plus, at the minute, she's out there on her own, you know, yeah. the, the back end. Um, and she's good. She's been there before. The she knows what she's doing. Oh, yeah. uh, Moldova I do really quite like. And I do like the way up the stage with the matching dresses and the movement and the choreography, the double mics thing. Really quite nice. I do like that one. It is 
yeah. it's quite gentle, but it's con- it's got a bit of interest in it, and it sits aside from the the really ballady stuff and the poppy stuff. It's got its own wee bit there. Mm. So I think good chance in there. Sean, come on, you've got to be with me in this. Show some love to Hera Bjork. Iceland, she's back. Iceland <laughs> didn't qualify last year. You know, she's got a decent song there. It's generic in amongst a a semi final full of bonkers shit. Quite frankly, generic has got to stand out this time round. If you work on the theory that some of the bonkers shit might cancel each other out and split the votes, then there is a possibility. I suppose so. I mean, she is a Eurovision goddess, for God's sake. I mean, Judith Sikorat was 14 years ago now. Could you believe it? Stop uh, it. You'll make me feel old. <laughs> um, but, you know, five acts have got to go home. And it's a toughie. It's, it, it's a real toughie. I, I don't know. I really hope she gets through because, you know, she's, she's fantastic. And maybe will enough people remember her after 14 years? Maybe. I've got to say, I think Juno Sikwa is a better song. Uh, but I really do hope that they go through. Well, Ireland, yeah, it is completely bonkers. And is it the kind of music I normally listen to? No. <laughs> do I love it? Yes. It's it's crazy. It's intense. There's so much going on in it. And I think it's going to stand out a mile. I'll be really, really surprised if it doesn't go through. I don't know what she shouts at the end. I think it's something like, if you come near me, I'll shit in your eye or something. Uh, but yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Can't get the staff. Can't get the staff, can you? Can't get the staff. No, never mind. Moving on to Moldova. Natalie in the middle. Look, I like this a lot. Uh, the staging, although it's really simplistic, I love the violins at the end. Apparently the song wasn't written with Eurovision in mind, but a producer said, enter this Eurovision, you, you really should. And the song's about like the light of the human soul, the heart, which is in the middle of the body. So the song's called In the Middle. And it's about finding one's true self. And it's a really, I really, really like the song. I love it. We're going to drag Oban into the conversation because I have a sneaking suspicion that Oban and Luxembourg are best friends this year. Luxembourg, I am so happy that they survived on my number one until the end of February. Since the selection, I I just, there is is so much sophistication in this song. It's like a, like, it turns into a Bob, into an art form. I love it. It's the old school French, 80s French pop that, was translated into 700 languages and became hit in every single language it was translated. I just love it. I just love the elegance, the sophistication. Uh, Iceland, Hera Björk, she's je ne sais quoi, is in my top 10 of all times. Uh, unfortunately, this is not in my top 10 in the semi-final. I hope she brings it up. She, you know, brings her A game to the Eurovision stage, but as it is, sorry, Ireland, uh, it's just, uh, for me, it's just a waste of oxygen, really. This is the song that copycats the uh, cha-cha-cha. Everyone else is, you know, accusing the, this year Finland, Estonia, or, you know, Croatia, but this is exact copycat of cha-cha-cha, this contrast between soft and hard rock. Uh, but Asia. without the luminous green outfit. Yeah, wait, wait, let's see, wait, let's see. Uh, so, uh, Lithuania, I love it. It's I know, it's fell, recently fallen out, fallen out of my top 10, but it's still in my top 15. And Moldova, it's, I think if that staging worked in Moldova national final, and they, I'm sure they will, you know, bring it bigger in Eurovision stage. So I think it's going to work even better on the Eurovision stage. But yes, I am hopeful for Moldova, Lithuania, and I am in love with Luxembourg. Troy, let's let's talk all things Ireland and Lithuania. I had a lot of a lot of my friends turn around and go, "What the hell have Ireland done?" It sounds stupid, but it's grown on me. I think it might get through. Lithuania, I see myself bopping to that on a regular basis, especially when I'm on the way to work. It's like, yep, that's a yes for me. I'm going to talk about Luxembourg as well, because I was at the Luxembourg National Final. Tali, absolutely love her. Do you know what? I don't think she's going to do any singing. I reckon singing, dancing even. I think she'll be singing lots. But um, I think this has potential to get through. Um, Although I do worry, I think this is a 10th spot contender. Hera Bjork, come on. Queen really, really want this to get through. 
I think this is going to be an absolute banger when it goes on the stage. I think she's going to let rip vocally. I reckon they're going to throw everything at it. And I really, really hope um, she gets through. Saying that, you look at the countries around and you suggest that Eurovision, there's a bit of block voting going on. The blocks aren't necessarily there for this one, are they? Phil and Michelle, Bambi Thug. Would you like to hear my take on Bambi Thug? I'd love to hear your take on Bambi Thug. <clears throat> Don, Donna, no need, Donna. <laughs> I, I, I'm really shit at I spy. I, I, I eat pies and I cry. Do you prefer the sun and the moon? Have you ever licked a hairy baboon? See, it's easy. Piece um, of piss, this Eurovision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Oh dear. So Phil, if you were on the jury, how many points would you give that? Twelve T. No, I, uh, I love Ireland. <laughs> Ireland Ireland has to get to the final. It just has to. It would be such a shame not to have this song in the final. It's fantastic. I mean, people are saying it's a bonkers year, but this is this is like the most off the wall song of the lot. It even stands out this year, which is quite an achievement. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I absolutely love this one. Just another note on Ireland. I, I, I scratch my bum now I've got pink eye. I, I, I'm going to lick your thigh. Would you rather have the sun or the moon? Would you rather have your hair cut by Vidal Sassoon? There you go. Yeah. Hundreds, hundreds of these. It's yeah. qualifying. <laughs> just just going just gonna, to... There we go. Donna's wiping the tears away from her... <laughs> Face, Troy, <laughs> a head in hand, just gonna. <laughs> there's, there's Sean. <laughs> uh, I've, well, I've just got... wait till next week. We've got, we've got a Netherlands wrap yeah, next week. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, I like Lithuania as well. I think, I think it could do well. I mean, it's gonna. I think it stands out, even though it's, you know, it's a. A pop song, I think it stands out. And he's got the, the dance routine as well. We can, we can yeah. all do it. I'll get two chins, though, when I do yeah. it. <laughs> and I, I like Moldova. I can't believe people are, are crapping on Moldova. No, Donna was absolutely right when she said that this was classy. This is yeah. a piece of class. It will stand out a mile. It's absolutely amazing. The visuals are stunning and the vocals are stunning. Mark my mm. words, it will qualify. Iceland, that's, yeah, it's solid schlager. Um, but it would have been a fantastic song maybe 30 years ago. I think it's just a bit dated now. Sorry. Taxi for Phil. That's it. That's it. We're over. Get out. <laughs> right. How can I? Jesus. Right, guys, I'm going to bring you back together again. Right, as always, I want your qualifiers out of this group. Who are you going for? Well, I'm going to go with all of them bar uh, Iceland. Uh, Iceland and Ireland are the danger ones. Ireland's either going to crash right. and burn or do really well. So what are you picking then? Uh, I would probably go with Lithuania, Luxembourg, Moldova getting through. Sean, I've got to go through in this group Ireland and Moldova. Oban, this group Lithuania, Luxembourg, Moldova. My three qualifiers out of five. Troy, everything in that group so Iceland, yes, um, Ireland, yes, Lithuania, yes, Luxembourg, yes. Unfortunately, Moldova, I think. Is an I. Phil and Michelle. Ireland, Moldova, Lithuania, and Iceland. Okay. Um, I've got